We are back with another exciting video. I don't know exactly what's going on today, but we're gonna to try to get some work done. I have some plans for the barn, and we're gonna do some shopping and check our packages. We have mail. So, I don't know, we'll see. You guys have probably been wondering where we've been for the last few days. We try not to take long breaks from our videos, but nothing has been going on. I don't know. It was know. a few rainy days. We and can't do anything. Honestly, I think coming back from Jeff's kind of, like, we didn't know what to do once we got home. Yeah. We were just kind of sitting here saying, now what? But I feel better. Ashley gave me a haircut. I know you wanted to see it, but we skipped filming that. I feel fresh and ready to go. We're ready to work. Let's get to it. We're going to go out, and when we get home, we'll show you what we're doing. We are back and in our barn. This is where we keep the chickens. And also, we intended on keeping livestock in here originally, but right now we decided to sell the property. We're not gonna be getting livestock. So plans change, life changes, we're going with the flow. We've had a lot of comments about using a metal barn for livestock and chickens. Um, are chickens livestock? Yep. The thing is that people think that metal buildings are gonna be too hot or too cold. Too hot in the summer, too cold in the winter. Uh, the animals are gonna have respiratory problems, everything else, so there's been a lot of questions, suggestions, um, and everything else just about, can you have the chickens in the barn? Can you have livestock in the barn? Now we have no problems with keeping our chickens in the barn and we wouldn't have had a problem with keeping livestock like goats or sheep in the barn either. Um, we have no concerns about them being in metal buildings because metal buildings are actually probably one of the most used structures being built today for livestock. Yeah. Um, now the problems with using a metal structure for livestock is probably two main things. One is you don't want their manure piling up against the metal because it will rust it and rot it and it'll cause big holes. It'll decay the metal much faster than it. Sh than it then you want. Yeah. That is the one problem, the biggest problem in our opinion, is just keeping the walls clean of manure. You don't want any kind of, especially chicken droppings, to pile up against the metal. It's just bad for the structure. The second thing is about condensation. I think that's where people get the ideas of like respiratory problems. Uh, we've had people ask about respiratory or comment about respiratory problems because our animals are being kept in a metal barn. If you have a sealed metal structure, with animals in it that are breathing and giving off moisture and it's cold outside, it's gonna cause condensation on the metal. Metal condensates very easily. You're gonna get moisture and with moisture comes health problems. Animals like to be kept dry. You don't want damp bedding and damp conditions, especially mm -hmm. during the winter. That isn't a problem if you have the proper ventilation. Ventilate your buildings. That That's, really applies to any building, too. Yes. Super ventilation. Don't worry about them being cold. You want air. You don't want a draft hitting your animals, but you want tons of ventilation. So even though we aren't getting livestock, so don't get excited, even though we're not doing that, we are going to be working on the barn today because we have an unfinished project that's I've been on the back of my mind. I want to get it done, so let's show you. When we built our chicken coops, we lined the back walls with these pickets. These are old pickets off a fence that we took down and that protects the metal from any chicken uh, droppings, any manure, and it isolates that metal wall from the chickens and you know so they're not having that layer of cold metal near them. Um, we just feel like that's a good option and we just have them going down to the ground. So we just have wood over the metal to protect the metal. We originally wanted to do that all the way around the barn and we collected a whole pallet of pickets. We took these apart piece by piece, all by hand, and saved them for this project. And as you can see, we never got to it. We yep. put so much work into getting those pickets ready. Taking all the nails out and everything. And now it's just taking up space in the barn and the next people are probably just gonna throw them out or burn them. It's a big waste of our time. I want to get it done, and I think it's going to make the barn better no matter what it's used for. Yeah. So, we're going to be working on that because I don't like unfinished projects, and it's going to open up all this space. And that's going to look better. 
I cut this 2x4 to fit right between here. And I'm going to be attaching it straight to the metal. And we're going to be using this to hook our pickets to. I'm just using some little red barn screws. And these have a rubber washer on them. I'm going to be screwing it from the back side. So Ashley's going to hold this up. Good? Yep. So I drilled a bunch of new holes and we're going to be putting another board right here. About four feet up from the ground. Again, just screwing it from the back. It's pretty basic. Now I should add, if you have a pole barn and it looks like this, you can skip putting wood on your metal because you already have it. Just attach wood, um, whatever kind of wood you're using, pine boards, whatever you got, attach it to the inside of your metal. Protect your metal. It'll last so much longer, your animals will probably be happier. Now we're onto the fun part, pick, putting up the pickets. Um, these are cedar pickets. I wouldn't use treated in here if I was worried about an animal chewing on the wood. Yeah. These are cedar. They're old cedar. The oil is mostly gone out of them, but they're, they're fine. nice all cleaned up. Nice wooden wall to protect the metal from anything. Right. Cool. So that was pretty easy. We didn't get much done but we're running out of time. Guys the days go by so quick and the closer to winter we get the shorter they're gonna get. Um, and I have to mow the lawn now. Yeah. We're gonna do the rest of the walls like tomorrow. We got a lot of wood left. The piles right there. We saved all those pickets. We're happy we can use them and open up the space in here. But that's all you got to do. If I was keeping animals in a metal barn, I would always cover the metal. I think that's just important common sense. Yeah. Cover the metal. It'll last longer and your animals will be happier. Um, and that's just a quick and easy way to do it. Works for us. Yeah. So now Ashley is going to hop on the mower and get mowing. Yeah, we haven't mowed in a while. You're mowing the yard or the field? Yard. For those of you who have been following our channel and are eager to find out how did our house showings go, we are selling our house and we had two showings. One of them, we just never heard anything back. The other one said, no, not interested. So we haven't had any other news about the house, but there are interested people and we're being patient. That's all we can say, we're being yeah. patient. That's all we have for tonight. Thanks for watching and thank you I should say, I've been wanting to say like a formal thank you. Thank you. And you guys know who you are and you know why. Thank you. We really appreciate you guys. Thank you. And, um, you know, we got a really great,
crowd and community of people out there. So we appreciate you so much. Until next time, take care. Bye.